Hey everyone, welcome to another week of Top Decks. Mm. And um, yeah, this week we have Clan Selection Volume 2 getting released in Japan. And uh, today we also have, uh, I think, Kelvin's wife's birthday. That's why oh. we're all eating cake. It's, yeah. It is a celebration. Celebration, It's like yeah. the only day I go on Twitter. Yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> so, so there's a bunch of goodies. We have, we have cake, cake. Uh, delicious cake. And then we borrowed some of Greg's uh, Strong Zero. So, uh, it's like easy. our yeah. drink of choice. Um, non alcoholic, of course. Right? No, of course, right. no, it's just a normal drink. Yeah. Yeah. Take a sweet. Thanks, Greg. Um, Cheers. Mm. Delicious. But yeah, no, we have a bunch of decks today. Uh, actually, not as many as I thought there'd be. Mm. Not sure what's going on in Japan. There's a lot of global. A result as well. So since it's Clan Selection Volume Two, you want to see new stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we did put it up another section uh, called Cool Decks, and uh, it's just decks at the top. They look cool. So just to give you an idea on maybe what you want to build. All right. So, uh, but firstly, we're starting off with Bermuda. Now, a lot of people don't like Bermuda, <laughs> uh, but they did get they did get support this time, mm -hmm. and in the form of the Grade Four, we've got uh, Nick, I think it's Nectaria, right? So. This thing is kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. When I when I thought yeah. of when I thought of prisms, uh, I was thinking you just run the old stuff, then you just mm -hmm. plus one of the grade four, and you're set. Because yep. the grade one and two Bermuda cards, pro, or not promo cards, but the clan selection cards weren't very good. Yeah, they were very generic. That means they weren't very good for any deck at all. <laughs> That's right. And uh, um, the grade four is more like um, consistency buffer for the deck. It doesn't feel like a, a special add-on, but um, you know, it just. Hmm. And Shushi to get that bind gets you the, the um, cards you want to play. Mm. But we see one very interesting card on this list. Yeah, so and one thing I want to say is that we, we don't see like the, the, the Ellie's mm -hmm. and all that. Like no Ellie's, which is weird, but at least he's got the Leaslets and the Aquas. Yep. Um, he's running a lot of Auroras. Which is a bit weird. Yep, and the one card we're talking about is Eve, right? Eve's yeah. cool. I'm a big fan of Eve. I built Eve decks, mm -hmm. and um, but I wouldn't think of building a deck with four Nectaria. All right, but I think the interesting thing about Nectaria is that her search is not prism restricted. It can pretty much search any normal unit. So you could run one off anything like an Eve yep. and that card will search it. And then at the same time, you like pretend you ride like a Nectaria um, and then you, you search it via, you search your Eve with another one. Mm -hmm. uh, you also trigger Nectaria's effect and you can start pummeling your opponent with like triple drive and yep. crits. And then you ride Eve next turn to just kind of yeah. be super lame, right? Like, might be good for, the, um, for certain matchups, or mm -hmm. maybe if the 14k helps against some decks. Um, I think, so yeah. I think in general, you, you don't really go into that as much because yep. just pure prism play is just, just better. Yeah. Multi attacking but, is just like way better than just lame one swing big attacks with crit. Yeah, but like certain decks will like want to damage deny you like yep. heavily, not give you any CB. Mm -hmm. And then, well, you can just ride up, go into Eve, and then you have like five, six damage to yep. play with, where your damage triggers basically shut down their entire turn. Yep. And then you can play the damage deny yep. game as well. So that, that's the other interesting part. So you can actually play Prism with a bit of a, you know, Eve toolbox, mm. and you can go Force 2. Mm -hmm. So it just gives that um, sort of plan B yeah. for the, pri yeah. the already good Prism deck. And I, th I think it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I like it. It's fresh. Yep. It's fresh. It's sweet. Just like this cake. <laughs> um, moving on, we have a we have a mm. kind of expected deck. You know, Ashley. Everyone has been hyping up Ashley. I've been hyping up Ashley. I yep. think it's a really good card, and the dual knight support is okay, mm -hmm. and it goes perfectly with basically any any royal paladin deck. But mm -hmm. I think that the best one is pretty much Sanctuary Guard because yep. Sanctuary Guard is good. And yeah, I think this is what you'd expect from it. You run the full full lineup of uh, of Jewel Knights. You run the Sanctuary Guard support, and then just anything else. Yeah. Anything else, you know. I mean, like, it, it just like bumps up that um, aggressiveness of the yeah. deck even higher. And technically, this is like you know good old you know SGD plus JK like back then yeah it's like combining two <laughs> two, super two broken agents. decks yep <laughs> and even back then you, you combine it anyway because you run that sword me yes yeah, which, <laughs> which is now now very expensive for no reason at all no, thanks to buyouts yeah you can't yeah. get it yeah I think TCG play was selling for like 70 bucks something they're probably like you know this card is gonna be busted in premium yeah. or something so good old buyouts <laughs> but and it, it, like 
the deck kind of just builds itself now hmm. because before you had a lot of space because the sanctuary guard engine yeah. was pretty easy yeah. and you could just put anything you want. Which grade one you want to put in? Do I spam grade one? Yeah. But now it's like you actually mm. have quality cards on two and three. Well, but now like the deck builds itself because you need to run two engines in the deck, so you only have space for mm. just enough, like you know, like like lever rods and marines, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I think everything else is an auto include, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, good old SGD. Next we have is uh, just cargo deck, mm. um, overlord. Wait. Does Overlord get any updates from the new cards? Not really. Uh, they do. They do. Uh, they get they get Dauntless and all that, but you don't... Doesn't if you play, this deck, does Yeah, it? if you play Overlord, dude, what are you doing? You don't need any of that. <laughs> Overlord just kind of builds itself, because it's been around for ages now. Uh, 16 Crit Man here, and just go YOLO face. It feels like such a pattern, like and whenever Overlord hits the meta, it stays for a good while. Hmm. Yeah, until they nerf it. Well... <laughs> Not much, not much to say about this, right? I mean, yep. everyone's seen this deck. Yep, deck's already. been around, deck's been, you know, you know what it does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next we have, um... Mm. Astral, Astral, Port. Astral Port. Astral Port just always, always shows its face somehow, right? I mean, Every look at this time. deck, right? You mean, you write the right great one, and you're pretty much set. Yeah, yeah. I feel like people who bought Astral Port, especially the ones that fully hold their deck mm -hmm. like this guy, they really want to get the max value out of it, so yep. every single chance they get, they'll play this deck. Yeah. And, um, well, I mean, more power to them. More power. I mean, the deck also looks super nice. Like, yeah, I have to say, it looks really good. Um, and yeah, 16 crit, you know, ride up, bash, you win. Yeah, it's a strong deck, boys. It's it a is. strong deck. Um, you can't underestimate it, just yep. up it up. It's not Mimi, like, herp the Wombo Combo Unga Boonga deck, no. It's actually legit strong deck. Which is basically herp it up Unga Boonga. For some people. Uh. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, next we have is... Uh, another one. Another one, yeah, from Singapore this time. Mm -hmm. uh, he's pretty high high rarity. It's from the yeah. or from David Ping Ping. I think he's got a channel going on. Uh, he does. I think he does uh, match videos. So look out mm. for him on the, on the DPP channel. Yeah, no, we've got some Astral Pods again. Again, Astral Pods. Self-built. Self-built. Is this, this is 16 crit as well? No, 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 it's four, 14 crit with two draws, yep. that's right. Which is interesting, because, like, you know, you prioritize the draw triggers than the heals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you have Nulls already with Eos Anasis as well. Which yeah, is, there's that, yeah. Yeah, but pretty much same as before, you know, same idea. Get your get your right, grade one or bust, right? Yep. Um, the second place, though, was interesting. We have Grand Blue again. Oh, yes, Grand I love Blue. Grand Blue. I think this deck is pretty much what you'd you'd like to play in your deck, right? There's something interesting there. He's playing three draws. Oh, One three normal draws. Normal draw. He's it's not okay. running the... He's not running the Chappie. The Grade Zero Chappie. I think you can opt them out if you don't plan on riding... Um, if you don't ever plan on riding Beatrice, I think you can get away with it. You know, oh, going to that yeah, multi-attack mode. Yeah, this is Nigro. This, this is Nigro's deck, yeah. So we don't need that. Okay, alright, that's cool. And he doesn't run the great new great one as well. Yeah, no yeah he doesn't run so it, eh? This is just Nigro's. With deck. three navigators, you need yep. to go full ham on the four navigators. Uh, three, three is good. Yeah. Okay, and then um, I think we have a third deck. It is Regalia. Hmm. Yeah, oh, right. Updated. Updated, okay. we've got Angelica here. Um, overall, She's just kind of in for the, the Regalia name. <laughs> uh, she, she does make multi-attacks yes. though, and she has that heal. I think the heal is the least, least strongest thing yeah. out of the entire thing. Like, 5 to Vine Gauge is pretty tough, hmm. but being Regalia is pretty good. Yep. And just the rest of the engine is already very good. I think the Grade 1 is really insane. It yeah. has counter charge, it basically does everything you want it to do. Yep. So overall, like again, I think we see see a similar thing, right? The grade one and two supports for a lot of these clan selection stuff is very, very good. Yep. And the three can be whatever, but the one and two you'd probably definitely. It's like see a supporting it. three for the already good deck, and then you just bump up the grade one and two to like absolute yeah. bonkers limits. I mean, I think the reality is that a lot of the threes are already pretty good, and if you That's don't right. have a good three, yep. you just run four threes. Yeah, right? and then you have eight rideable grade threes. Yeah, no, no, no. You you ride no. So what I'm saying is, if you before, if you didn't have a good three, you just mm. run four grade threes. Oh yeah. So you don't really care about the grade three, right? And then the the bulk and the meat of the deck is just your grade ones and twos and how they can really push the deck forward. Mm. So I think this is pretty much a lot of what clan section is about, unless they introduce a totally new archetype. I think. Oh, well, so we're already at the end of V. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, there's still v more premium. V, <laughs> v, premium, v premium to come, but or V collections. Anyways, very good play, man. Uh, 
I see. <laughs> yes, I see too. This is someone else's birthday today. Though. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. That's right. That's fine. We can uh, celebrate more than one thing <laughs> every day. Uh, we got another Astral Power deck. Is it? I'm not sure if Singapore is just won by the same guy. Like, the Astral Power deck is different because the rarity is mm. looks much more pleb than the other ones. But they always have Saram's face, I think. It's like so, a local legend. Yeah, is that a is that a meme? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, Astral Poet seems to be pretty pretty cool in a in Singapore mm. so far. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's it's just as we've said before, right? And this is from the calculator shop. Mm -hmm. TT zone. <laughs> uh, second place, we have a Gavriel deck though. Okay. Now, yeah, we, we've Gavriel's just been solid the whole time. So again, not much to say. It's like a second Overlord deck. Yeah, second. I think it's interesting that like Japan rates Gavriel pretty low. Yes. Compared to Kagero. Even like, though they did see what it did, but maybe the you know it's a it's a high roll deck. Yeah, like they, I, I think it's kind of interesting they prefer a Kagero high roll over a mm. Gavriel high roll, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, Gavriel in the West. Everyone thinks it's quite strong. Yeah. And I agree. I think Gavriel is really good. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, I don't want to build it now, though, because it's very expensive. Oh. I think everything in Divine Lightning Radiance is super expensive. Yeah, now. even good, good. Yeah, because they're like, well, V Premium, Just we, I think we found the best deck, so yeah, yeah just, let's just jump on this Divine Lightning Radiance. First, it was like, what, 20-something dollars? I don't know, it fluctuates. <laughs> it's going to become like 70 bucks, because it's English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, we've got the, the Brunei Gang. Hmm. Um, first place was uh, Genesis, uh, Himiko Regalia. So I think this this uh, this one wasn't this tournament was done before Clan Selection got okay, released. Yep. On the twenty first, right? So it's just on the last week. We're presenting the yep the previous metas. Oh list. no 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 you, 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 no! You'd be this week. No, sorry. Yeah, twenty twenty one. It's a Thursday. So. Or maybe Devin received their. Stuff. Oh yeah, no, that's right. International stuff. Yeah. yeah. So unlucky. Um, but Himika Regalia still a strong deck, and mm. you'll see more of it with just the new Clan Selection yep. stuff. Oh my. A bowl of cake. Uh, the second one with NLK gang again. I remember this guy. Yeah, I don't know. I like this deck. You like this deck? Yeah. Like yeah. NLK into um, Gustil definitely is like way better than trying to Shahar into Gustil. Because mm. at least mm. you know the the soul comes more naturally. Yeah. Know. Yeah, I like I like these NLK builds that are popping up. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, third place we've got Jerry. That was a Zar. So third place we've got Jerry with Royal Paladins. Um, this is the old. SGD build, so as we can see, you know, no Ashley, no Jewel Knights, yep. uh, but we'll focus more on power, yeah. Hopefully we'll be upgraded. He doesn't have to upgrade. He doesn't yeah. have to do anything, dude. He's got a Daigo <laughs> marker. Yeah, he's already he's already halfway correct. All right. And then the last one, we have Shadow Paladin. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm. Is it is it Azmi? Is it Azmi? I'm not sure if it's this... It? Is, it, is it the weird Shadow Paladin guy? It's sort yeah. of. It's like one plus the dark to Danger Lunch. <laughs> Danger Lunch I can still fetch, but... I, I think Brunei... Brunei is, it, is it Brunei? Yeah, Brunei always has like... The, the weirdest Shadow Paladin guy. I think they the just one. have a lot of like... Um, what do you call it? Role players. <laughs> role players? Role players? Okay. No, I think the other one runs the Counter Charger. With the the oh, great one Counter Charger or something. There's like one card that I quite like. It's the... um The castle? Yeah, the castle. But you could just run the Lulils, right? That's true. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's pretty cool. We got Danger Lunge, Danger Lunge gang here. Mm. So yeah, um, moving on, we have uh, back to Japan with a little wild list. Mm -hmm. So do we see the PR? This is, the PR is the no. coolest thing, right? No, no, not here. This is just a standard. The what? Yeah, like ooh, mm. Mm. look at this guy. He's this, <laughs> the the comment for his deck is this is the Kai Toshiki, right? So he's got every single. High sleeve, probably, I assume. Maybe. Official I mean, high sleeve. I mean, he's playing Shadow Paladin, so it's kind of wrong. You know? Actually, yeah, it would be, could be like Link Joker, could I mean, be like. Kagura. Or even could Royal Royals, Paladin. Right? Yeah. Mm, Royals. But Shadows. I mean, Royal Kai was pretty lame, though, I have to say. Like, hmm. Oh well. But yeah, pretty much straightforward Shadow deck, I mm. think. Not much changes from before. Next, we've got this from Chris. The different fight himself. Oh, it's from his locals. The winner was a, a Luad player. Oh, they have locals now. Yeah. Oh so, man, good stuff. So uh, Jan, good stuff. Came first. Pretty uh, another pretty standard mm. Luad list as well. Uh, I think this is this this is the, the the slightly older version of the list. Yep. Um, w without the knees and is he running the? He's not even running. Oh no, he's got the knees here. Sorry. Uh, but. A slightly older version with like still the eight grade twos. 
right? And um, New Apocalypse. I think Bat is still super popular now mm -hmm. in Japan. Japan is the, the, the Bat, Bat Kingdom. Bat Central. Bat Central. Gotham. <laughs> but with the old old build of Luwada, just the, the standard um, standard consistent with the trying be as consistent as possible with the knees. And it's still that's still fine in English. Uh, well, actually, no. Clan section gets revealed, released tomorrow. Yeah, right? but I think if you put four in these, <laughs> you might as well max out your top four, top five searcher. Mm. That's just personal opinion, but yeah, yeah. You know, the other one plus is the other filters. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay. Well, if clan section coming out like tomorrow, yeah. maybe this deck will change. But the wad I think is still very strong. Yep. Especially with Gurgit not around. Yeah. All right. Next we have. Oh, I haven't seen this in a oh. while. Bang. Vanquisher list, right? Van Team Vanquisher. Um, did I think we used to the last time we saw like Vanquisher, Vanquisher stuff? They started adding in like books, did they? Yeah, they did. Was that Blade Master? I'm getting... No, that's Vanquisher. I think it's Van. Oh yeah, but this one doesn't have any books. Right? He doesn't like reading, you know. But place for Chowos. Oh, that's right. Got unrestricted, right? Yeah. I think... <laughs> A lot of I don't know. I think after the ban list changed, most people jumped on the um, Yasuo train pretty hard. But yeah, I haven't seen Four Chowo there for a while. I think like it's weird because Narukami just hasn't shown up much at all. Yeah. It's, even after Gogo got, got hit, so I mean the deck's been there for a while, so it does get a bit boring. Yeah, I mean like, like the the problem was that Gogo just did this deck but better yeah. and stronger. Yeah. But now gogo has gone. You technically have like you're technically pretty good. Right, um, but I guess you it's, know, it's feeling that room of like you know Axel big power. Or well, Despair, yes, yeah. With Clan Selection two, there is a new Axel king. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good to see Vanquisher again, though. Good stuff. Um, next we have is another Gabriel deck. Mm. All right, this is a Gar Gabriel. Gabriel. Deck, yep. Um, less Yolo, I think. It's got your favorite card. Yeah, it's right? got, yeah, it's got the your favorite card. The great two boost. Uh, what what is is this like an idol team or something? Or? Must be. I mean, do you know any of these characters? They're a bit blurry. I, I couldn't tell. Huh. Okay. Not that deep, man. <laughs> uh, there's only one idol that, that he liked. <laughs> um, 16 crit, so mm. pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard Gabriel list. Um, next we've got the Derek Dow. He came the in Derek with a, Dow. Yeah, he came with a Gabriel list as well. Oh yeah, Perth's been doing pretty well. Yeah, they, they've been doing very well. They, they have locals for a while now. Uh, but look at this dirty deck, man. It's Bro, just... bringing this to locals. Yeah, going to locals. You're gonna lose all your friends. <laughs> what a what a champion, dude. You're like what a champ. Do you guys want to play Vanguard? Yeah, takes yeah, out takes Gabriel. Out Gabriel. <laughs> it's like, oh, this guy. I'm just, I'm just gonna play myself for now, man. See you later. Uh, so Derek Dow won that. Uh, second place was uh, Kaguru. Come on, guys. Imagine, uh, go to local. Look at, look, look look at like, this guy. Look how many force choose this guy, but you don't even need that many. <laughs> you, you need like... You don't even have that many. You probably don't even need three. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, I, so far, so far Perth is looking like you guys want to play Vanguard, takes out a solitaire deck, plays him himself. Like, dude, <laughs> your finals locals is like Overlord versus Gabriel. It's like, whew. It's so fun. And then lastly, we've got a... Heat. Oh, sorry. Well, spoilers. Let's get the last guy. Uh, last guy, I've got Narukami. Hmm. So this is the Good only stuff. guy that wanted to have fun. Where's the book? Where's the book? Uh, no, 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 no book. book. Oh. No book. I think it's it's just pretty standard, right? Hmm. It's like nearly the same as the other list we yep. saw, except he doesn't have the PR. Wait, where's the Cho? Oh, wait, there is no Cho. Eh? It's running the um rock the SP climb. Rock climb. Yeah. Well, no, I, here's the thing. I I don't think Cho is like that cool in Vink. It's not that required. Because your spots are like so limited. I guess. I guess. You, you, right. you, you're great to just like your... It's personal preference, I think. Great to yeah. Be. But I mean, with four churros, you might as well run four churros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, you can get rid of stuff. Actually, he's only... Is he only running three full Bronto? Oh. Huh. That four three ratio is a bit odd. I think it's the wrong way around. It's, it's supposed to be like... More, yeah. yeah, four full Bronto and yep. three of the old one. I think so, too. Mm. If you wanted to go but like that. if you like the old one better, yeah. go for it. Well, at least you didn't play Kager versus Angel Feather. <laughs> well, I to play one of them in top four. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one we, we probably saw. It's Pale Moon. It's a very pale photo. <laughs> Just go drink. Just go drink your beer, dude. Like... It's not beer. Oh, no. So, yeah, that's right. No, it's not. It's a it's a cordial. It's cordial. um fruit drink. Fruit drink. Yep. That's right. It's peachy. Um... 
I don't know what to say about this. I think a lot of people, like, are on the, the Pale Moon trade. Yep. Right? They, they love this. They're like, wow, this is really good. Uh, I'm kind of, like, not on the train. I, like, waited at the station mm. and let it pass. Okay. I, think, I think the deck is strong, offensively. But, um, I think your hand's jank. Mm. I think, like, it's a bit clunky when you compare it to, like, other Excel decks. Like, sure, yeah. you can you can definitely high roll and generate a bunch of Excel circles. But what happens when you don't high roll, mm. right? When you go, when things don't go the correct way, don't you just feel bad? That's what, that's what I think, right? I think, like, yeah, it's it can definitely pop off, but at the same time, it can definitely brick pretty hard. And when you compare it to other Excel decks out in the format, um, then it's, like, one of the less consistent ones. So, that's that's just my opinion on it. I mean, other people are really, really hype about worker roids. Which... Uh, it's, like, high ceiling, low floor. Hmm. Very low floor. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but... nice to see, nice to see Pale Moon again. Um, next we have is... Well, the other thing is also, you know, the, um... Alice Dex hasn't been very good for a long, long time, so... <laughs> The one time it becomes payable, everyone's like, oh my god! Actually, oh, interesting, this is from Taiwan, oh. so it's not not actually Japan. Um, but wow, his, his, his Japanese is pretty good, <laughs> I think. <laughs> mm. Alright, next we have is another Pale Moon list, so mm. we're on the Pale Moon train right now. Um, one thing I want to point out is that I don't think English has this card, the, yeah. the Tosca, right? It's so, so. Also, like, when this comes out, it's going to be slightly less consistent. Because the Tosca is like a consistency engine, yep. um, and without it, things that I said before might happen more often. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like your storage just will be more prone to breaking, mm. basically. But yeah, no, cool, cool stuff. Nice to see Pale Moon represented again. And nice playmat. Man, I wish we had those playmats in English. Oh, we should. Don't we have them? Um, or, is this is it Asia exclusive? I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, next we have is GC. GC. So, Ultraman. <laughs> Ultra. <laughs> so this GC deck is actually kind of interesting. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he went 16 crit with this one, which is not normal. Because yep. GC can play a pretty long game, and with the new yeah. support it got, like Lost Gear Dog A, Zade, mm -hmm. and all that, it's really good. But you see that he's like not running Zade, he's actually just running Nabu, which makes sense in this deck. Yep. Because when you go in ham, Guard Restrict is better than... I'm surprised he doesn't just go Chrono Fang. <laughs> yeah, at this point you might as well go Chrono Fang. Right? Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's just... Uh, just a solid deck. Solid Chrono Fang. Aggro. Fang. Super aggro. Stuff. I mean, last week we saw Chrono Fang. So yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. So I think... Maybe... Maybe... Should see the other stuff. Well, Chrono Jet... Is that enough e Chrono Fang? No, Chrono Jet, Chrono Jet is way cooler, I have to say. Okay. Yeah. But Fang is just like... Fang is red. I just want to destroy my <laughs> opponent, rip them to shreds. Mm. Mm. Next we have. Oh, not a GC. Mm. Not GC. NLK. Okay. I think it's pretty interesting. Yes. This is the second NLK we've seen. With Doreen. Doreen's like probably like one of Ooh, my yeah. favorite cards in like. That's, that's like, an old card. That's yeah, an old card. Yeah. So. Why? Like, this isn't even, like, Gasteel comboing or anything like that. It mm -hmm. actually goes to the fifth element, so it's, like, so premium style. Okay, so he runs this um, engine that we went through, I think, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So the new grade two um, from Clan Selection. And then there's that great one, when you call it by effect, you get two soul. Counter charge one, soul charge one, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So with that, your Dorian can actually, like, explode, like... True, pretty true. Pre like like pretty much any time you can make your Dorian go up uh, on demand, and then you just go do NLK to morph a turn, mm. and that's pretty lethal. It's like playing premium. It's like a mini premium mm. burst deck, mm. and I think that's pretty cool. Okay, all right, that's good to know. Um, next we have is actually just a standard Shahlon deck. Mm. Now this one runs <sighs> Gastiel for Gastiel. Yeah, I don't agree. I, Actually, I, I think cannot we've seen, agree. We've seen this. Like, we've seen this thing before, right? Possibly. Is it the same guy? He, I remember oh, this yeah, phone case, dude. Oh yeah, phone case. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, he managed to. Uh, did it, did it again? Did it again? But here's the thing. Um, I think Gus Deal's skill goes down the better your opponent is because they just pick the least efficient effects. Yeah. Before you hit twenty, 
and before it hits like what um three effects a lot it's of people a lot of effects can get away with it yeah. yeah yeah even the three i think you can get away with it yeah and then when you hit the 20 you might also just sweep one down that's what i'm just yeah. saying yeah right like and it's definitely not worth investing four slots in the deck because like you're definitely not gonna ride it first so mm. you're gonna go shaharit and shaharit badly needs like tethers so you want to max up tethers and shaharit yeah if anything yeah well again i'm not a huge fan of this this version of yeah but hey hey pick the right locals yeah that's right pick the right locals next we have is uh we haven't seen spike oh. brothers in a while you know what i haven't seen spikes for so long i can't i don't know what the cards look like honestly <laughs> Well, luckily, I I play some Spike sometimes, <laughs> but the new support for Spike is really really good. Hmm. Uh, although he's running like eight, eight draws. Four. Eight okay, draws. I mean, if you get that many Force Markers, sure. Yeah, he's running basically all of the new Dudley. He's running only hmm. three of the Grade One, which I think is okay. Uh, although I do like its effect that it helps you like move cards around. Which saves you on soul, mm. um, but overall, like the rest of the deck is just pretty much some of the, the good I mean, old stuff. The fact that you have a great three that copies effects it means the deck will last a while for a while. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so it's good to see spikes again, like actually doing things, especially in Japan, eh? Yeah, no one likes spikes in Japan, but yeah. it looks like it's pulled through. Like, like the spike support pretty much just made their old spikes like playstyle like mm. much better much yeah. more consistent yeah. much more efficient which is good you're not replacing the deck with like something like yeah, well, zeal <laughs> <laughs> like zeal is a bit like weird right like i don't know uh, I, I think zeal is like a trap it's a trap it's a trap yeah okay but i can go for like a few minutes on that but let's let's cover it when <laughs> it comes up well different fight has all the zeal stuff so yeah you guys if i think i think the main problem is like you know all your cards rely on your vanguard getting power yeah. So even though you manage your opponent and you're making the guard value bigger, <laughs> you don't proc your regard skill effects, and that really hurts the deck, I think. Yeah. It's minusing your opponent and plusing your own is different, especially for... For like, zeal. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Sad life. Imagine you, you, you see spikes and, and talk, talk bad about zeal. <laughs> it just reminds me of the um, the jankiness of some force clans. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm on Bashit any further. Let's go. Yeah, we need to respect this deck. He he's actually quite high rarity. Actually, a lot of yeah, spike yeah, stuff yeah. as well. So. But spikes in Japan is like super cheap. Right? It's like 200 yen for a Probably, SPs. probably. Yeah. If it's baseballs, it will be different. <laughs> baseball. <laughs> All right. Next one we have is uh, Hamster Egg. This oh, is yeah. from Singapore again. Uh, good old Singapore. Now, I've, I've seen your video with Mark with, um, and there's like a very strong discussion about, you know, gorillas. Yeah, well, this, uh, this Kuro Neko went three gorilla, which is cool. Mm. Um, and eight fronts. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's, he went, it's pretty sensible, you know, you didn't go yep. like 20 fronts, because you get 20. banned. <laughs> like, see, I, I mean, I, I can see people... Cutting like heals or nulls, yes. maybe not nulls, but like cutting heals at least. You can just play to like get... 4 30k crit and 12 staff, 12 yeah. fronts, yeah. Um, no, no, just like, yeah, heaps of heaps of fronts, you know, mm -hmm. heaps of fronts. But it's uh, it's just, it's pretty sensible there. And then the gorilla, when you get the gorilla. When you get it. And then you trigger the front, yep. you pretty much win, right? So um, this is probably one of the strongest decks coming out of Clan Selection yep. Volume 2 can generate easily three excel circles very turn. underrated yeah i think a lot of people are sleeping on this especially in japan yep. i don't think they respect it much but great nature has always been like a sleeper deck kind of kind of i know the west is like really hype about this and i i think it's a really really good deck mm. and pretty much the entirety of this deck can just be built from clan selection as well so yep. super pretty cheap to build take a new gurgit yeah <laughs> it's, i mean this is the this is the Luad of Excel circle. <laughs> the Luad, yeah. Three markers per turn. Three though. markers per turn. All right, so that's all the top decks this time. It's actually pretty short. So instead, we have to look at some cool decks. Right? Cool, cool decks. decks. These decks actually didn't top. We just looked through a bunch of decks and went, okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Uh, this will at least give you guys ideas on maybe some decks from Clan Selection Volume 2. Hmm. Um, maybe we'll get more results next week. It just yep. really comes down to what's going on in Japan and other parts of the world. But let's take a look at this. Uh, let's go for some cool decks. First we have is Ethics Buster. Now, I know a lot of people were like, 
Well, people were very disappointed at Ethics Buster just because, you know, the, the double restand sometimes yep. doesn't work. So, uh, they just threw Ethics Buster in the bin. Right? And I don't blame them. <laughs> um, but if you do want to still build Ethics Buster, and, like, to be honest, when going through the list of these decks, there were a lot of Nova Grappler decks. Hmm. A lot of Nova Grappler decks. So, um, people are definitely still into this deck, even though Ethics Buster, double Ethics Buster doesn't really work. Uh, but you pretty much, you can just see this is the old shell of the, uh, the Beast Deities. Mm -hmm. It literally doesn't have any of, like, the new, the new cards except, like, yeah. one copy of the two. Um, because, I'll, I'll be honest, they're kind of not great. Yeah. They're, they're kind of not great. Well, they're not flexible enough with the other, mm. like, cards. Like, they don't synergize well with just, you know, the rest of the deck. Aside from I think, like, card. the old Beast 80 deck already worked pretty well already. Yeah. So all they did is just put in the new stuff, like, four of the new Ethics Buster, maybe, like, one of this, but this is pretty much a flex. It's a filler, yeah. Yeah, you can get rid of this Ashura Kaiser, I think. I think that Ashura Kaiser is, like, a nostalgia card. Yeah, Looking it's SP. Yeah, this guy. it's SP. It's old art. Yeah, so, um, I think if you have, like, an old Beast Data deck, you mm -hmm. can pretty much easily transition into the new stuff and still have some pretty good fun with the deck, right? Just keep in mind the ruling for double ethics buster on the main mm -hmm. site is like like two pages long and then yellow card made a huge long video about it that you probably wouldn't understand um but the long Basically, story short is a lot of it doesn't work <laughs> can't proc it twice yeah it, 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 if you want to play it set safe don't go ethics into ethics just yep. go ethics into something else and then you'll be fine yeah. uh but next this guy's like super bling i like the um jacks yeah next one we have is this is a dauntless deck Yep. Um, we've got the Turnabout, which is not out in English, <sighs> but not every region plays uh, English. So if you have Japanese format, then yep. you can play the Turnabout. I think the Turnabout it's, engine is the best cool build yep. um, of Dauntless. And you, you, Burning Horn here, you guys might want to look into that because... You could playing eight draws. And it's pretty normal for Dauntless to run more draws, mm. um, just because the discard three discard, cost yeah. is quite high. Yep. Uh, he also runs the end as well, so you you're, you can have like a kind of combo turn of the end on Dauntless, mm -hmm. and then by discarding enough cards, you can kind of play around the both conditions to get what you need. But overall, this is just a pretty standard, I think, turnabout Dauntless list that should, you can easily just build together. The, the good thing about Dauntless is that it doesn't require CB, so you can't mm -hmm. really, they can't lock you via CB, and yeah. overall, if you trigger like blanks, then you still get power in your regard circle, so it's yep. kind of stable in the power lines. Um, whilst it's like you're always getting value out of your Vanguard. Yeah, the only time you don't get value is like you get a trigger and nothing, but you still yeah. get 10k. So yeah, yep. still decent. Uh, the next one we have is kind of one that can build in oh. English. This is a Dauntless build with Blade Master, and I think that's what a lot of people in English have been just saying. If you want to build Dauntless, this is probably the best way about it. Yeah. Um, you just get your old Blade Master stuff and put in four Dauntless and you're pretty much good to go. Yeah. Well, the new cards at least, you put in some of the new cards as well, but you've got kind of enough space in Blade so Master. It's one of those, like, you know, you put two engines together, you get a nice deck that mm. works together. Yep. And you still have the book. I know old Blade Master used to, like, really crutch on the book. Mm. You can still run book, but you don't need as many of it because yeah, you have... You get better quality great one and twos. And Restanding Vanguard is That's pretty good. Yeah. Right. Uh, next, we have just a... Whoa. Next we have a Chaos List. Mm. Uh, the only reason why I put this Chaos List in is okay. because it's full hollow. It's high rarity. We didn't see Chaos in the top deck section. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> but as you can see, full SP, full hollow triggers, very bling bling. Um, lots of love for this deck because no one else likes it. Mm. <laughs> so, I don't know, I think Chaos is one of those decks that you will only see a hard argument when you go to competitive tournament scene. Mm. when like matchups really matter like you consider what where you're gonna first in i mean i'm space. pretty sure next week from perth but you're just gonna see this list because they, they they really like to try how they're locals right no, I think, <laughs> but they can just continue playing overlord overlord we'll see like what Av Av uh, gabriel overlord yeah it's like chaos technically they play decks that do well <laughs> against chaos so maybe they wouldn't care mm. we'll see next we have Hanzo deck. Mm. So this Hanzo deck, I, I have been playing Hanzo on stream a bit, and one of the things I found, I, I was playing the the Mizukaze build, and to be honest, the the, the crew build is just better. Yeah. Your hand gets so many protect markers. You don't know what spells. to do with them. 
Yeah, and Hanzo kind of combos very well with Crew because yeah. you can discard and then discard again. So I think this lineup is pretty much the best kind of lineup you can do with Hanzo if you want to build it. And the rest of it is just the supporting cards. You want all of the new stuff, and then you got your great free searcher, and then your the token boosters. Sakura Fubuki is always always great, and then Dantetsu gives you the tokens. Yeah. The, the question area is like how many crits you want to run. This guy's running mm. eight. I've seen six six. I was running eight draw. I feel like you need draws like because you just your hand is terrible. You don't really get much hand advantage. Mm. Um, like sure, your hand just turns into protect markers and sentinels, yep. but like, you want to dig useful units. I yeah, that's the point. I mean these have more shield, but we really want to dig cards. Yeah, you really want to dig cards. So I'm on like the eight draw train, but that's really up to you guys. I mean, if like even even though the draw shield value is low, they, if they don't have a hand, who cares about shield value? Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Next we have is a battle sisters deck. Oh. Now I think this battle sisters deck is pretty much. Um, Probably one of the stronger builds right now, you know, mm. instead of Sustano, this is a much more aggressive version of yep. Oracle Think Tank. Um, I've seen decks run 16 crit instead of just the 12 crit, which Very is fine. Feasible. Yeah. Um, a lot of scrying in this deck, and then a lot of ways to get around, like, blank cards, yep. right? So you've got Amaterasu, so you scry, you see one, you're like, okay, maybe, maybe this is how I want to want to shuffle my deck, or you, 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 you rile all the blanks mm -hmm. into the soul, etc. Yep. Et so this is kind of a... Just crit every turn, get nice guard <laughs> value in your hand, and that's it. Yep. It, it feels very similar to like the old um, Battle Scissors deck, which is, you know, it's, it's pretty pretty cool. Yep. yep. And then next, lastly, this is the last on the cool, cool team. Ravon. 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 Right? Uh, so, this guy actually just went, he's running four of the new Valios, and then four of the new Great One. Because mm -hmm. the Great One's just good, good and free. It's on hit become free stuff, get free stuff. I don't think he's running the grade two though, which is kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. Um, the one thing you can do with this deck is that riding values first is actually better in my opinion, because you lock your opponent down. Your opponent doesn't really want to discard like 20 cards mm -hmm. when they could just take damage, which means you can push early. Yep. And then later on, you can either stay on a values or you can go up into a Revan. It's like you force them on high damage, you Revan and just destroy them. Yeah. But uh, like the other way works fine as well, because your Revan can push damage with an Excel. Mm -hmm. And then if your hand is like, well, if your, your cards are like already big, he won't guard. But then when you go into the values, you don't have to use values as Persona Blast to kill your Excel Circle. Yeah. You just keep the Excel Circle and then just bash normally. So I think this deck, uh, Blue, Blue, not Blue Wings, Blue Wave. That's right. Uh, Blue Wave got some pretty decent supports and I think it's definitely quite strong. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, you're not an Aquaforce guy, but what, what do mm -hmm. you think? You know, you have Axel, the two rideable grade threes, both aggro, it works. Yeah. yeah, so that's it for top decks and cool decks this week. I mean, it was kind of short, shorter than normal. Uh, but hopefully next week we'll have more, even more results. Yep. Even more results. Japan's recovering and hopefully they're doing, they will be doing better. Yeah. So. And uh, I mean, if you guys want to submit like lists. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess you can just post them on Twitter. Mm. Uh, put them under the hashtag of VG Top Decks, because mm -hmm. I think people are just messaging me, and I might miss stuff. So just, mm. just if you post on Twitter, everything is just ready. We'll search it up, and yeah, hopefully get featured, right? Let's get the start. Let's get the train going. So global hashtag, guys, hashtag hashtag VG Top Decks. Remember <laughs> that and keep posting. Yeah, that's right. We'll hunt you down. Hunt you, we'll, we'll hunt those this down. That's right. So thanks for joining in guys and I'll see you guys in the next review. See ya.